A question on role play and cosplay during sex. An extract from the multilayered blessedness of sex. A book by Joseph Kahuho Gatoto. Question by Emma, what about cosplays? And role plays? I'm always interested in knowing if this role play fetishes are godly. Answer, every role is in a reality of consciousness and is a particular reality of consciousness. So, role-playing and such as inviting a particular consciousness that is different from the two parties involved to take part in the act. This brings a foreign element into play that is besides and beyond God's order. Still, the role and or costume brought into play is an emergence from a particular state of consciousness within the bounds of sex that can be lust, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and or both. Same can be dovetailed with an element of imagination from a creator, maybe Superman, Supergirl, Batman, Wonder Woman, Captain America, Iron Man, and etc. In such a case the totality of the creator, their consummate consciousness is brought into play in the act, literally speaking the person behind the creation of maybe the Hulk, for the man, Wonder Woman, for the woman, or whatever cosplay and role brought into play becomes a layer of the act thus making it defiled in the physical and non-physical aspect. Consequently, what was following the individual begins to follow the two who have committed sexual immorality in the subtle layers of reality, because instead of two people becoming one, four, or three people have become one, the husband and wife, and the creator of the Hulk and Wonder Woman, cosplay and roleplay is defiling sex and tainting the marriage bed. Again, in God terms, and in the subtle realities of being in consciousness, the aforesaid is having a foursome and or threesome depending on the number of consciousness brought into play during the act. Same as adultery and sexual immorality. Drink water from your own cistern, and running water from your own well. Should your fountains be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets? Let them be only your own, and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. As a loving deer and a graceful doe, let her breasts satisfy you at all times, and always be enraptured with her love. Proverbs 5 verses 15 to 19 NKV It follows that cosplay and roleplay, together with other sexual toys, deprives the couples of the blessedness of purity and identity, roleplay and cosplay is taking on the identity of another and bringing another into play, whereas fetish and sexual toys brings in diverse elements of foreign consciousness into play defiling the act. It was not so in the beginning.